case you have amnesia and you forget where you are, they have those signs to tell you your entire zone city. So from here to the right hand, I'm there. So they have mochi gaming machine. Okay, I think this is the building. Oh, let's see the entrance. Oh, hair con is so nice. This whole place looks like a huge library. It's full with dessert and sweet. So colorful, little candies to the eyes. I wonder how many of them are vegan. And what is the cost? Probably quite expensive. Just look at this box. Oh, those ones shaped like ape corn and all kinds of uh, nature leaves. We have those. It's kind of look like a pudding. Sea salt, cashew, and strawberry. Very beautiful. Oh, every Look, there is a little ants. They probably come here smelling the cookies and the sugar. Let's carry on. I think here they sell bubble tea. And right there is the famous uh, ice cream. Yeah, ice cream. Cool name. And I like the logo. Hey, so here are the direction how to order an ice cream. I took it mostly for decoration reasons. Okay, very photogenic dessert. I should probably start eat before my ice cream gonna melt. And look at this, the mango come on a stick. So if you eat the okay, so I do like that they use paper a spoon and not plastic. So it's better for the environment. Mm, that's really good and refreshing. Let's try the other one. bike look like a bike and mix with a coke in it okay i think we're almost there i'm so full 
Okay, I think it's this restaurant. It's called Sume Vegetarian Ramen. So this is the restaurant, but just my luck, they're closed. They open at 5.30. Uh, you know what? I'm not too disappointed because I'm extremely full. So maybe I'm gonna head back to the hotel and come back later. I'm tired, so I took yeah. the bus. <laughs> okay, so right now it's like 3.30. And let's hope my room is ready. I'm tired. Okay, so here is my room key. I guess I'm floor nine. And yeah, let's go see it. Nine hundred and ten this way. Okay, so I brought the room back to life. Just put in it here, and all the electricity is turned on. Wow, look! I actually have a window view. Oh, there of what? Of an uh, aircon. Hey guys, so are you ready for the room tour? Let's begin. Here we have a little stand for, uh, I don't know, drinks. So I have water. I have this in every hotel. I guess in uh, Taiwan it's very important uh, to bring the guests nightcap, a brush. Yeah, basically all the same. Shower cap, aircon, air dryer, towels. Here is the bed, very comfy. I'll really try it. And let's see, the bathroom. So we have a toilet. Oh, I do like the flow. It's sparkling. Shower douche. That's a cute little sink. Weird place to put your stuff. Hello. Oh, and an extra toilet paper. Great. Uh, okay, yeah, very nice. Okay, so I think I'm gonna rest for a bit, at least until five. And then I'll go for dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this day uh, simple and easy since tomorrow I have uh, a lot of places I wanna visit. So this one I'm gonna relax. Okay, bye for now. Hey guys, so time right now is 5.30 and soon I'm gonna head out uh, for dinner at a fully vegan restaurant called, let me see, Sai Chaya Vegan Project. I cannot pronounce it, uh, I bet not even close. Uh, it's like a 20 minute walk from here and it opened at 6 and yeah we're gonna have some a uh, vegan dinner there so let's catch you there here we go I switch to those shoes okay and from here just wait for I think 10 to 11 minutes Okay, the Google map show is right there, so I think it's here. How to know since there is no sign. Okay, so I arrived, but they say all the tables are taken, so there is no space. I didn't know how to do reservations since they have no website. Uh, so, okay, we're gonna go to Plan B and I'm gonna find a different restaurant close by. Okay, since it was closed there, I'm gonna check the food place. Maybe I can find sugar apple that I wanted to try for some time. They have so many fruits, let's grab some. So they have apples, passion fruit, papaya. They have two different kinds of papaya, this one and this one. Here I see tiny mangoes that I'm also gonna try. Look how small this is, so I'm gonna take one. They have red one and they have this one. I wonder what's the difference. This one is the most expensive, maybe this one is the sweetest. They also have durian there, lychee, I see kiwi. And there they are great. I got myself some loads of fruit and now we can continue to there. Wow, I'm so curious to taste them. Okay, I think I arrived. Probably it's in this mall. It's called Bold Booty Vegetarian Cuisine. Who is so cold in here? I need my jacket. Okay, I asked a walker and she told me the restaurant is all the way up to the 16th floor. So yeah, I have some up to go. Let's go up. Wow, I'm on the ninth floor and I'm getting so dizzy. So much up to go. Six more floors to go. So in the 14th floor, they have a fountain. Kind of lost track. I think this is the last one. Could have the number on the floor. 
I think it's like all you can eat buffet. It costs 1089 and Taiwanese dollar. I mistake the restaurant once again. She told me vegan options they have here. Okay, so that was Aqua, but I think now I'm in the right restaurant. So it's right here. And let me show you the menu. It's quite a big menu. So let's see. Let me show you what I took. I took the salad. From here, unfortunately, most of them contain egg or too spicy. So I skipped this one. I did took the dim sum. And I also took this one. I did want to try those buns. The black one seems interesting. Okay, so I just got all of the food and this is a lot of food. So we have a salad, steamed uh, vegetables, the little dim sum, and here I have some tea, pakui tea. Okay, so let's begin the food review. From the menu, I took the grilled vegetable salad. It came with fresh vegetables, fried forest mushroom, and a simple vinegar sauce. It had zucchini, nuts, lettuce, tomato, and tiny corn. The presentation was very elegant, yet the salad was quite simple, so taste-wise I wasn't impressed. Here you can have some footage of me practicing my amazing chopstick skills, unfortunately they didn't add a fork. Okay, and from here we move into the crispy radish pastry. Those pastry were warm and cute and they had a thin layer of sesame that covered them like a blanket. Inside was the radish, uh, which at first I thought it an onion. It was quite delicious, but more on the oily side, and I do think it was missing some sauce, which I asked from the waiter later. Here I got some steamed spinach that, to be honest, I don't even remember ordering, but uh, I had some miscommunication with the waitress since they didn't know English that well. Uh, so yeah, oh well, I felt bad of returning it. It didn't add much taste, but it does have benefit on the healthy side. From here we move into the dim sum, the dish felt like they were freshly made. I only wish they came with some dipping sauce since there was no soy on the table. As for the restaurant, it's in a traditional Chinese style mixed with some western food. Another thing I noticed, there were more waitress than customer which felt a bit awkward as three waitress looking at you waiting to fulfill your every request. Which can make you feel more self-aware especially when you try recording. Leaving that aside, the food was quite expensive, more for presentation reason than taste-wise. So overall, I'm gonna give this restaurant a 7. And it's like for some uh, chili or soy sauce and they gave me both of them together mixed. I think this is gonna be extremely spicy. I'm getting quite full. Really challenging to eat with chopsticks. Look what a mess I did. <laughs> okay, so here is the bill, and I think the whole meal cost uh, 579. All this old food. Oh, how convenient! They have elevators. I don't need to go down uh, 16 floors. Look, it have 19 floors. Now I'm going back to one. Right now it's 7.30 and I'm heading back to the hotel. Okay, so I just cut myself the food I uh, bought earlier. So I have uh, the apple and the tiny mango. Okay, so we have here the bounty of the day and let's try it. I thought it's sugar apple, but I'm not so sure now. I think it's just like a normal apple. Let's try. I'm not even sure it's ripe. It's very sour. I think I ate the seed. The seeds are very hard. Uh, don't think it was ready for eating. Or if it does, it doesn't taste good. It tastes very sour. Okay, I wasn't a fan of this. Uh, let's try the mango and off it's sweeter. So I'm just gonna take a bit. Mm, I have to do it while holding the phone. You know what? I'm just gonna eat it old school style with my hands. Mmm. No, this is sweet. Oh wow, that's like a candy. Mm -hmm. mm, I like this. So 
So yeah, not the sweetest mango, uh, but yet very refreshing and good, like a sweet and sour candy. Well, I'm not too sure what to do about it, as it's way too hard to eat, and yeah, the taste is not good. So yeah, I don't think I can eat this one. Just go back to my ditchy. 